locked in. Let's get these newel posts set. First thing we're gonna wanna do is figure out which one goes where. Set the long one right up here. And we're just gonna eyeball a nice straight line to where our railing mounts to the center of this log. So here you can see a variety of the basic tools that we're gonna need to get these newel posts set. Since we're gonna be mounting these brackets to this stone, we're gonna use these Tapcon screws. They're a high tensile strength designed for uh, masonry, stone, concrete. And that's gonna require that we use a masonry bit to pre-drill. All right, so I've already taken a minute to line up where I want this post, and I'm gonna mark out where we're gonna drill for our Tapcon screws. To mark these, I'm just gonna use my nail punch. All right. Now we want to take a minute to chip this up where it's got a little high spot. All right, this is going to line up just right. So we're going to go ahead and set this first screw right over here and then drill the rest of these out in place. Now to set these, I'm going to just use my cordless drill. So, well, you know what? That's all right. I kind of figured these might be a little too weak for this job. That's where I brought some reinforcements. All right, so it, out. it turns out these are too weak. I had these left over from another job, but I thought they may be, so I'd, I had a, I would have had bought eight of these quarter inch redheads. All right, so let's get this situated, get it back to where, close to where we had it. All right then, let's drill them out. All right, now we just drive these in the hole. And then we're just going to dado out these, the holes uh, in the bottom of the log for these nuts. All right, that's as solid as a rock. And before we put any glue on this thing, we're going to dry fit it and make sure it's all looking good. See, we've got it centered to the front porch log. Okay, so now that we got that front one dry fitted, let's get this back one. Do the same thing. We move this bench. That's a good looking bench. Okay, as you can see here, we're lining it up so that it hits center with that log up on the front porch. And I'm just marking, marking my corners. Get our plate off. And we know right where that sets. Just set these in the hole. Take a minute. Drive them in. And there it goes. So once again, before we uh, apply the glue, we're going to want to Dry fit this log and make sure everything fits just right. Yep, looks good. Yeah, I believe that's going to work just fine. All right then, so we'll pull these out and fill these holes up with this, this liquid nails. I'm just using regular liquid nails, so we're going to pump these holes full of it and let this stuff set up for a few days. We're gonna wanna make sure we get this all the way down in the bottom of these holes, so it's gonna take some time. We're just gonna be real patient. Pump this stuff real slow into there. Yeah, I believe that's gonna do it. 
And we'll just slide that down nice and easy. And raise it up. Let the air get to it. All right, so we're gonna do the same thing all over again on this one. We're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna set it down on there and pull it off. Oh yeah, that's nice. We wanna let the air get to it. All right then, so we've had time to let this stuff get tacky. I do believe that's going to work. Hey, I appreciate you watching this video. Hope it's helpful the next time you go to setting some log newel posts. Now it's just a matter of getting our dimensions and starting on the iron railing. Now, if you haven't done so already, be sure to click subscribe right here. And come on back next week when we'll start welding up these iron railings. This has been Mitchell Dillman with LogFurnitureHowTo.com. We'll see you again next week.